everyone. This is Last Garden Standing, and I'm here today again in order to talk to you about the aloe vera plant, which is a succulent. Um, in tropical areas, it grows the best around the world, but if you're in cold weather like here in Utah, then it's best potted in a pot like these and left indoors and grown indoors. It makes a great house plant. Caring for the aloe vera, as I mentioned, it is a succulent. Like the cactus, though, it does like the real dry conditions. Don't overwater it, for sure. However, just because it's like the cactus and likes dry conditions does not mean it's related to the cactus. It's actually a succulent is related to the lily family. When, when you do grow your plant indoors, um, such as these, then uh, you need to put it in a soil that is sandy and gravelly. And you can even add some perlite to that mix if you want to. Um, I have chosen a mix that's already mixed. It's called a cactus tropical palm mix. Uh, it's got all those stuff that I mentioned, gravel and sand and perlite and all of that in it. So I have already mixed this in. Um, as far as the pots, I've already done one in a wide uh, terracotta pot, which is a clay pot. It seems to be doing just fine. Uh, it's growing new leaves and new shoots. So it looks really good. I did that about a week ago. And I also did one in a plastic container. Just make sure it has plenty of holes. This one has several around. Uh, just so the soil can dry out and it has plenty of drainage. Uh, this one's doing good too. It's got a new shoot. In fact, I did this one about the same time I did this one. So both are looking really good. You also can choose to use a tall rather than a wide uh, terracotta pot too. I like the terracottas because it soaks up the moisture in case you water it too much. But this one too has a new leaf coming. So it also is doing well. And as far as my demonstration today, I'm going to go ahead and choose a small terracotta because when you get plants like this, this is way too uh, big for this little tiny container, so it really needs to be transplanted. So I'm going to demonstrate the transplant right now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put a little of my soil, which I mentioned was a cactus soil. It's got all that little gravelly perlite and um, different things in it to make the succulent grow well. So I'm going to add a little of that in right now. Put that under there. Just put it in part of the way. I'm actually going to make a little, put a little bit of water right in here where the root is going to go to kind of give it a fresh start, hopefully. There we go. And then I'm going to take this. It should slide out pretty easy. Yep, it sure did. So I'll get some of that off, and but don't take it all apart. You can see the roots are very root bound. It definitely needs transplanted. So I'm glad we're doing this. We're going to set this right in the middle here where I put my water. Just set it there. Then we're going to take the soil and just put that soil all around it real well. It should do well in this even though it's not as big as this one. It will still grow really well. It should anyway. We're going to push it down a little bit. Push it around because we want it to hold steady and still and be firm. Really pack it in there. Push 
brush it in. Just like that. Let's water it a little. Let's water it from the top. Water it a little bit behind and all around. Okay. Let's push it down, make sure that it's really solid, and put a little bit more in there. That's looking good. It's looking really good, actually. I should have put my gloves on. Let's water it just a little bit more on top. Like I said, not too much water. What you actually want to do is, while it's being, when you're first transplanting, you want the roots to take. So putting that little water in at first and then setting the plant on top is probably a good idea. But also water it really good the first time. Wait two or three days and water it again because you want those roots to take. However, after it takes, after that, you want to... Um, let the soil completely dry out and you want to water it at that point probably every three to four weeks. What you do is actually stick your finger two inches down and if it's really, make sure it's dry completely out, about two inches down and then it's time for watering. So probably about every three weeks you water. You can water it over your kitchen sink let it drain out. The terracottas will soak up any moisture that it doesn't take. Uh, but the plastic will, should just drain right out. And it's looking good. That's what this one's been doing. So it's really good. Um, after that, you just put your pl new plant in a bright area of sun. Make sure that it, it doesn't have to have direct sun all the way. It can tolerate some shade, so partial sun, at least quite a bit, at least six hours or so or more. And it's going to have that good start. It also doesn't mind a little misting every once in a while. Just barely mist it. Don't go crazy. I haven't misted these for a while, so I'm going to. Um, if you keep it in the bathroom, you're, it's really good for misting and some water that it can get. Just, you know, with all the showers going and the faucet going, that might be all that you even need. Keep one in the kitchen, one in the bathroom. Experiment and see how they go. This one I'm going to give to a friend right here. So I'm hoping that this one works out really well for her. So that's about it for this time. I do want to mention a few of the medical aspects and the metal, medical benefits that aloe vera provides. First of all, there you've seen, I'm sure, at the markets, creams that have aloe vera in it, and that's because it's good for skin irritations, for rashes, and so forth. But also it's in shampoos and conditioners. It's great for dry scalp and it's great for your hair. It makes it look shiny and it's very healthy for it. But also you can actually juice um, the aloe vera plant. There's lots of recipes on the internet and I'm sure YouTube too has some videos on juicing aloe vera. If you have, it's great for sunburns. Sunburns, you can just pinch off a leaf if you have a minor burn of any kind. You can just put it on there and maybe two or three times a day and it's probably going to go away real fast. If you have a major burn, then you would want to take a whole leaf, try to skin it on one side, put it on the burn, and then wrap the bandage. Juice it, put it in cream, shampoos, conditioners. There's just a ton of benefits from the aloe vera plant. Every house needs one. Gotta have at least one. I have several, which some I'm going to give away, but uh, that's about it for the aloe vera plant for now. This is Last Garden Standing. 
please like, share, and comment, please. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any new ideas. Also, subscribe. There's more videos to come. I've already done several on Christmas plants, Christmas cactus succulents, and now the aloe vera. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.